Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to extract the first n rows of a data frame in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you three examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of R Studio a new data frame object appears. And we can also have a look at this data object by clicking on the data object and uh, then you will see that a new window appears which is showing the structure of our data. So as you can see our data consists of 10 rows and 3 columns x1, x2 and x3. Now let's assume that we want to extract only the first n rows of this data frame. Then we can apply the head function as you can see in example 1 of the code. And uh, the head function by default is extracting the first six rows of our data frame. So if you run line 7 of the code, you will see that a new data frame object is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console. And this data frame object is showing the first six rows of our original data. Now within the head function, we also can specify how many rows we want to extract. And this is what I'm showing in example 2 of the code. So as you can see in line 10, in this line of code, we are again specifying the name of our data within the head function. And then we are also writing a comma and the value 3. And this actually means that we are only extracting the first three rows of our data frame. So if you run this line of code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, only the first three rows of our data are returned. So the first two examples of this video are both based on the head function. However, it is also possible to extract the first n rows of a data frame based on square brackets. And this is what I'm showing in example three of the video. So as you can see in line 13 of the code, here we are subsetting our data based on square brackets and then within the square brackets we are specifying the row numbers that we want to extract. So in this case we are again extracting the first three rows, so the row numbers 1, 2 and 3. So if you run this line of code you will see that the output is exactly the same as in example 2 but this time based on square brackets. So in this video you have learned how to return the first n rows of a data frame in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video I would be very happy if you leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.